Hello guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. So, I will be teaching you on how to solve problem solving involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. So, are you ready guys? So, if you are ready, I'm ready. So, today I will be teaching you on how to solve word problem involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. So, kapag sinabi natin, guys, na angle of elevation, I have here on the board, the observer. So, kayo po ang observer. And also, this is a horizontal line. When you are standing here, ang horizontal line mo ay pantay. And if you want to see an object above, that is what we call the angle of elevation. So, I have here, the observer here, I'm standing, like for example, ako yung observer, pagkatapos ng horizontal line ko, and I want to see that object sa taas. And this is an object, at dito po ay tinatawag po natin na angle of elevation. So, if you are going to apply an angle of elevation, it involves trigonometry, the word, the, the Sokatoa, and the triangle. So, I have here an example. The type of a lighthouse has an angle of elevation equal to 40 degrees and 32 minutes. From a point 18 meters from its base, the question is, how high is the lighthouse? So, what are you going to do, guys, is in order to solve for that problem, we are going to use a right triangle. Parang it represents, a representation po ng angle of elevation. So, I have here a right triangle. So, this is a lighthouse. Ibig sabihin, nasa taas po lang ang lighthouse, at andito po yung observer. Like for example, ikaw po yung nakatayo dyan. At tinitingnan niyo po yung lighthouse. Siyempre, yung lighthouse is nasa taas. Okay. So, you go back again to the problem. 40 degrees, 32 minutes. So, nandito po yung observer nakatayo. At nasa taas po ay what do you call the lighthouse. So, ito po yung angle niyo Dito is what do you call 40 degrees and 32 minutes. And you go back again to the problem, 18 meters from its base. It means to say, ang base mo ay nandito. Nakatayo ko eh, tinatayuan mo eh. So this is 18 meters. Ang question, how high is the lighthouse? It means to say, from the base hanggang dito sa lighthouse, ito po yung ano natin. So we are going to label this as our question mark. So, in order to solve that, if you could still remember the Sokatoa. So, Sokatoa means S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. -A so, ano po yung ibig sabi ng Sokatoa? This is an application of you when you will study about the Pythagorean formula. After that, the Sokatoa. And that Pythagorean formula and the Sokatoa, it's the application of our problem here. So, S stands for the sign. O stands for the opposite. H stands for the hypotenuse. C stands for the cosine. A, adjacent. H, hypotenuse. T, tangent. O, opposite. A, adjacent. So, what are this? The sine, cosine, and tangent are what do you call the primary function. So, sine, cosine, and tangent. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na primary function. So, we will be applying this in our problem. So, I have here, since hinahanap po natin, natin ang height ng uh, kwa na to, ng lighthouse, so we let us check. Using this equation or using this figure, mag-create po tayo ng equation so that we will be able to answer it. Okay? Ito po yung observer na katayo this is what do you call the opposite. So, lagay po natin opposite over, ang tawag po dito ay base or adjacent. When we're talking about the adjacent, guys, this is the nearest side in a given angle. So, since ito po yung given angle natin, 
Uh, maybe I have to put letter A here at andito yung observer nakatayo. And then, this 18 meters is what do you call the adjacent side. So, if I'm going to ask you, opposite over adjacent, what function is it? So, if you're going to, to go back to the Soka Towa, opposite over adjacent, it means to say the function that we are going to use is tangent. So, tangent, this is what do you call 40 degrees, right? So, opposite over tangent. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin po natin ay tangent na function. So, opposite, this is unknown over known. Ang unknown po natin, ito po yung hinahanap. So, maybe we have to use the variable x, x over the adjacent side of 18 meters. Since hinahanap po natin ang x, so you need to cross multiply this. X is equal to, ano po yung value ng tangent natin? So, tangent 40 degrees, 32 minutes, times the value of 18 meters. Now, after this, you are going to get the value on in your scientific calculator. So, if you are going to check there, guys, your scientific calculator, you have to press tan 40 and then the symbol, 32 minutes. And the value will give you 0 0.855 times 18 meters. So if you are going to multiply 0 0.8555 meters times 18, will give you 15.39 meters. It means to say the value of the how high is the lighthouse from the base it's a bit from here until here ginagamit natin ay 15.39 meters this is now how are you going to apply the sobatoa the right triangle right and then this is what we call the angle of elevation okay so let us proceed now to example number two Example number two. So we have the angle of depression. So when we are talking of um, angle of depression, so I have here an observer, okay, and the line of sight is here because this is an object. So if I'm going to stand here, at titingin po ako sa baba, ang line of sight ko sa baba, di ba? So the object is here. And then the angle of depression is here. So if I am going to give you an example the angle of depression from a helicopter to its landing port is 64 degrees. If the altitude of the helicopter is 1,500 meters, find the direct distance from the helicopter to the landing port. So, as what I have mentioned you just now, that you are going to use a right triangle to represent. So, this is a helicopter, okay, and... The angle of depression is 64 degrees. And this is 1,500 meters, the altitude. Another term for the altitude, guys, is a height. And then, find the direct distance. Di po ba kapag ang helicopter ay bababa na po, ito po ay magsisla. Di po ba? So ngayon, dito po siya bababa. Siyempre, kapag nagbaba, nagsisla ang helicopter. Find, we are looking for the distance from here dito sa helicopter going down here dito po sa land. Okay, now, let us use the Soka Towa. Okay? This is our angle. Let us uh, look that this is our angle. Okay, angle A. So, this, this angle, this is 64 degrees, right? So, this is what we call the opposite and the unknown is hypotenuse. So, opposite over hypotenuse, what function is it? So, you go back again, class, to so katoa. So, so is the opposite of hypotenuse, so that's why is sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite po natin, class, is 1,500 
over the value of your C. So, since we are looking for this, from here sa helicopter going down dito po, so that is equal to C is 1,500 divided by the high, the, uh, what do you call this? The sine 64 degrees. So, 1,500, get the value of sine 64 degrees in your cal calculator. So, that is press sine 64 will give you the value of 0 0.8987. Okay, so therefore, you have to divide, do not round off first. So, 1,500 divided by 0 0.8987. So, will give you 1,600 69.07 So if you're going to round off it to the whole number will give you 1,669 and the unit of measurement that we used is meters So if you're going to compare So you must malaki talaga ang value ng hypotenuse, right? Because hypotenuse is the longest side So the value of Find the direct distance from the helicopter to the landing port. So, ito yung helicopter, syempre, bababa yan, paslang, going to this port. Then, that is equal to 1,669 meters. Okay, so, by the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for the videos that I am going to upload. I hope that you learned something today and have a great day everyone.